What's up guys, Josh here. So check out my new toy. I just finished building it. It's my 2x48 belt sander. That's always, it's actually upgradable to a 2x72. Uh, all I would have to do is just change out the arm, extend the belt this way, you know, just whatever. But you guys get that. So what I thought, my, my, my favorite part about this thing was, uh, I got a small garage. I don't have uh, all the supplies in the world. So that's why I went with the shorter, you know, 2x48. It's my first, it's a beginner set, I'd call it. I actually threw uh, the actual buffing wheel on here. So check this out. I got a three step pulley on here right now. So right now it's in its slow speed. So that's a 1700 RPM motor. That thing is in slow speed. I'm running at a sorry, one to two ratio. That thing's running about like eight, uh, 850 RPM right now. Got this. I hinged the motor so you could swip it over. So, all right, now it's in its natural one-to-one -one ratio. Running at 1,700 RPM. And obviously this is, uh, it's doubling its speed. So that's uh, for every ro one single rotation of that, that that's turns twice. So now this is gonna be rotating about 3,600 RPM. That being said, guys, uh, I actually have a 5 8 uh, 3 quarter inch shaft here. I actually milled the end down to accept the standard adapter. So apparently what I learned is that all these little adap uh, shaft adapters go maximum up to eight, 5 eighths diameter. So I actually milled it down. If I had to build this thing again and I wanted it to be simple and cheap, I'd probably switch this out to a 5 eighths shaft. Um, I have a 4 inch diameter uh, neoprene rubber uh, drive contact drive wheel here. This is actually a caster, and I'll get you guys a close up of that now. So that's a four inch caster. It actually has sealed ball bearings in there. Right now my tensioning uh, works beautiful. So this guy is, I mean, it's, it's almost effortless to track the belt. Again, it's, I've never built one of these before. So, let's get this thing turned down. I have a nice balance point here, so Pull that forward, sits there balanced. I could swap it out, drop my belt back down. Yeah, I don't know, let's see if you can get a look at that. Yeah. That, I, I was just tickled with this type, with this setup of a. Uh, that's very, this is very simple to make. I mean, it's just two chunks of pipe, roll them at a T, and then you got yourself a nice easy tracking. Uh, of course, this is a telescoping tube. You can see my nice uh, junkyard uh, washers uh, instead of welding, you know, machining eyelets or anything. It was just simple and cheap. I had a spring was free, I found that. Uh, I do need to do tweak my uh, plant, planting, and I plan on throwing another bar underneath the bottom, or I didn't know if I wanted to come from the bottom of my channel and up. So then I still need to figure out how I wanted to do that one. So guys, if you have any questions about this, please ask. If you guys have any hints or tips on how to improve this, please let me know. Uh, this is a one horsepower Harbor Freight motor. Uh, yeah, I cheaped out on that one. I kept looking on used Beldor or, uh, you know, and stuff like that, but they're just too expensive. This year, I actually found this guy on uh, Amazon, Craig uh, uh, Power Switch. Just has two basic uh, outlets on the back. Very nice. Yeah, it's a router table switch. Obviously, I'm maxing it out. I'm running, I think this motor runs uh, 13 amps uh, maximum. Or, I don't know, whatever. I'm not an electrician here. So, yeah, I'm more than powerful enough. A lot of guys actually said it could run a... Uh, three horsepower router and a still a vacuum at the same time so that's why I was really looking into it. So I decided to go with uh, the spiral on uh, just because so, again I'm cramped for space I'm going to have to change these out to go from a sisal wheel to a high buffer. This guy here. Pretty much I purchased a uh, premium caster. It is a polycaster. It is polycaster. 
Uh, I do expect it to uh, wear out, but it is pretty darn true. I checked it that it is sealed ball bearings on this, so even if worst case scenario, I should be able to swap those out if those start going. Down here, I mean, it's, this is very basic. Guys, if, please, again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm always going to have more contraptions like this.